Thank you, my prestigious colleagues, for inviting me. You have no choice. Madam, very obvious for the photo shoot. <laughs> All right, so our topic for today is Danatumumab for the treatment of multiple myeloma. Why did I mention for the multiple myeloma? Because this medication can also be used with lymphomas. But currently in our hospital, the protocol is okay. The protocol that has been approved is for the multiple myeloma. Because the food is coming. All right, so this is the, our objectives for the day. Inshallah, after my presentation, you will get familiarized of, I'm able to touch all of this. I will not read it one by one anymore. Have a good look, and this will be my objective that you will be able to achieve by the end of this presentation. <coughs> all right, that tumumab just uh, is uh, belonging to the classification of cancer medication under immunotherapy. Does anybody have an idea what is immunotherapy? <coughs> Monoclonal antibodies. Okay. Before we go with immunotherapy, this slide is advanced, by the way. It's very advanced. Hold on. Very innovative. Very innovative. They have their own uh, Okay. So with immunotherapy, um, as per the definition of as per the definition of National mm -hmm. Cancer Institute, it is under the biologic therapy, which is a type of cancer treatment that boosts the body's natural defenses to fight cancer, and it uses substances made by our body or in the laboratory to improve or, in, or restore immune system function. To know more about immunotherapy, you should somehow a uh, better understanding of our immune system. And honestly, even me, and, and, and too, immune system is too perplex, it's too complex to, to comprehend. But for this time, we'll have a little review, what is the immune system. So this one is a short video about immune system. <coughs> therapy works by using the body's immune system to fight cancer. The immune system is a complex network of organs, tissues, and cells, and the substances they make. One of the purposes of the immune system... Okay. I in, uh, intentionally cut that on substances that. they make. Okay. One of the purposes of the immune system is to rid the body of germs, such as bacteria, and abnormal cells, such as cancer cells. Immunotherapy uses different ways to boost the immune system to do a better job of killing cancers. Oh, let's cut on that one. The important part of that uh, video is that we want to move on. Okay, let's move on from the other one. Hold on. Immunotherapy. my sponsor. So all these gifts is courtesy of Mr. Dai Ali, our sponsor for the Dara Tumuma presentation. So, immune system is made up basically by three components. Organs, immune system cells, and the molecules. So let's have a little review on the immune system. Basically, what you see on this one are the organs con uh, involved with the immune system cells. In the bone marrow, wherein those cells are born, like our B cells, our T cells, and other macrophages, so and forth, so that one. While the thymus, the spleen, and the lymph nodes, that is the secondary organs that educate and train those cells to identify those antigens, those pathogens, those bacteria, virus, your fungi, your cancer cells. They are the one now uh, on the secondary organs. Proceed, proceed. 
They are the one now being trained to catch and destroy those pathogens. So these are the stem cells that I remember. Can you see? I'm sorry. Can I, I, I transfer here? It's okay. It's okay. It's we, are, we are okay. Don't worry. So these are the uh, these are the cells that I am mentioning. If you have noticed on the side of the lymphocyte, the T cells are the destroyer, just like our natural killer cell. And the B cell, once they differentiate or become very mature, guess what? They are the one producing the antibodies. The antibodies that is involved with the plasma cell or the myeloma cell. So, yeah, so ironically, you are mentioning on the antibodies that is produced by the disease, which is the one that is being used now to treat the disease. I will expound on that later. And on the other side, we have the, the macrophages, the neutrophils, eosinophils, they all play the big role in combating antigens or pathogens. This is the molecular part of the immune system. I will not explain on it in details, just have for you an overview that these mole molecules, either they aid by a, a binding on the antibodies, or signaling the cells that, hey, hey, there's an invader. Come on, attack him, attack him, like this one. So those are the part of the molecules. <clears throat> Any idea what is this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On the middle, we have, as you baby boy, you can see it in now. I will have one, one, one for you from page one. <laughs> okay. This is an electron micrograph of a macrophage attacking the cancer cell. The cancer cell is the one in the middle, the spiky thing. <laughs> and the macrophages are the one attaching on it. Now, do you know that all of us have cancer cells? Yes. All right. So uh, out of 10, there is one with a cancer cell that is proliferating. We don't know. Huh? We don't know? Yes. Because cancer cells have the capability to evade the detection that those poor patients with an immunocompromised, their immune system cannot identify that there is a cancer cell floating around in the system. <clears throat> On this micro uh, electron micrograph also showed some RPC uh, that, is, that is floating around. Now, how are we going, or how's our body going to identify now this cancer cell? So, this is the antibody. The antibody on the right side, it's a cartoon drawing. On the left side, this is the actual uh, looks like of the antibody in a, micro, in a microscope. So, you see on the upper part, that is the business end. I call that the business end. Those are the binding surface that attach to the antigen which is specifically for a certain monoclonal antibody. The violet part, the lower end, this is the non-binding end, which attack, uh, attach to the cells in a, in, a, in a sense that it gives the signal that, hey, the cancer cells are here, come and attack, like that one. So, these are the molecules that make up the antibodies, a lot of that. So, this is the actual one that it looks like. The principle of the anti uh, of the monoclonal antibody is like this. This is the antibody, right? And this is, let's say, the myeloma cell. Outside the myeloma cell, there are antigens that are specific to myeloma cells. We will not do an antibody that will attack all our cells, sa? So, with a multiple myeloma, do you have any idea what is the specific antigen? MashaAllah, CD38. Great, you have a breakfast. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this uh, myeloma cell is covered by CD38. And this antibody now, the one, the letter Y, the binding surface, will attack to this one. And it will signal now the NK cell. I found you a customer to destroy. Attack. And then it will lysis or destroy. Now, how are the mono, monoclonal antibodies produced? Okay, traditionally, back in the ages, mice are, are immunized with vaccines. 
okay? And from those vaccinated mice, their B cells are harvested. Then these B cells are fused with the myeloma cells. Again, very ironic that the same myeloma cells, that, that disease that we're treating is uh, greatly involved with the treatment itself. So, the myeloma cells, after the fusion with the B cells coming from the immunized mice, will give a hybridoma. These are the new cells. So, <coughs> these new cells now will produce lots of monoclonal, monoclonal antibodies that is specifically engineered to attack our target cell, our target antigen, PCD38. Now, this is from the distant past, okay? Uh, we evolved already because um, mouse, <laughs> mouse-based monoclonal antibodies or murine-based monoclonal antibodies cause a lot of anaphylactic reaction or allergic reaction because it's uh, yani, uh, different from our body. And even though that, um, that uh, humanized already, we still have a reaction. So we evolved and we have now daratumumab. Daratumumab is a human monoclonal, an monoclonal antibody, correct, right? Human. So it's already been engineered, it's being harvested now from human. Now, this is the presentation, what is the mechanism of the, of the daratumumab to the myeloma cell. I know it's a little bit overwhelming. It's cute, it's colorful. I'll make it simplified. Okay. So daratumumab, as a human monoclonal antibody, have multiple effects on the patients, on the patient with the myeloma cell. First, as I mentioned, they are mediating the activity of the immune system as they attract these complementary cells, macrophage and K cells, to attack the CD38 of the myeloma cell, which causes apoptosis. Also, they have these antibodies can attract other molecules inside the body, binds to them, and again, directly attack the myeloma cells. And last but not the least, they have this immunomodulation effect. You know, um, either correct or not, are, uh, in the study, uh, daratumumab have some sort of effect in, the, in changing the milieu the immune milieu of the patient's body, meaning it prevents those anti-cancer suppressant cells to globally suppress our uh, the patient's body to not identify it. It's like promoting the immune system to be more vigilant. That's how it's changing the environment of the immune system of the patient. So that's the multiple effect of daratumumab. Now, I will not dwell much on the study, but just to give you a little history, there were two early phase uh, trials um, that, by the way, these two trials are Gen 501 and Sirius trial. They are the one that paved way to the approval of daratumumab to the market, okay? They were done around 2013, 2014, wherein um, PDA, permitted the use of daratumumab. It was approved on the 25th of November 2015 by the history of daratumumab. So what is this trial all about? This is a phase two open label, meaning the patients know what they are receiving, number one. And number two, um, both of them, Gen 501 and the serious study, uh, both of them, uh, the patient know what they are receiving, and their purpose is the safety, of course, this is a first trial to try daratumumab, the safety, and the target, those efficacy. Because at that time, we don't know, that this is the very first trials that have been concluded. So, after these two trials, there was a combined analysis. Um, at the end of this, it's concluded that the best dose that a patient can receive is 16 milligram per kilogram. That is the calculation of daratumumab. Per kilogram? Say, yes, per kilogram, boss. 16 milligram per kilogram. One six. One six. One six. Okay. So both trials have this and concluded out of 140.